Hello everyone, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Asana for your own personal project management. So I stumbled upon this website just recently and I feel like this is one of the best website if you need to manage your project. So if you're like me and you have more than one job, let's say you have your main job and then you have some other freelance job and you've been stumbling on how to make everything tidy on how to manage your project and how to remind yourself on which task you need to submit or which task you need to follow up, etc. You can use Asana as one of your platform to help you manage your plan as well as your schedule. So here I've already created a very simple board. So let's say that S project is one of my freelance job and I would like to add some more project and I'm going to go ahead and click new project here. And I'm just going to add a blank project for this one and I'm going to name this as my main job. So I'm going to put brand partnership and then I'm going to choose list as my default view. Then I'm just going to go ahead and click create project. And here I got my brand partnership created. So I got two of my work here and let's say I want to create another one. I can just go ahead and click new project once again. And I always like to start with blank project because most of the time my job will have different to do lists and it will have different stages when it comes to the workflow. So I will always start with blank and this one. I'm just going to name it as content creator. All right, so that is the name of my job. And in the S project, I've already created some task. And the first one is the to do list. And then I got the doing as well as the done. So what happened here is every time I need to do something, I will put it on my to do list right here. And if I have done it, I can just tick on the tick mark like so. And if I need to, I can then move this into my doing like so so i know that i am doing it right now and i can also add due dates into each of my tasks as well as adding my priority level of my task in order to edit your priority level you can just click on this column right here and you can see that we already have low medium and high created and you can always edit the options you can change the colors if you want you can edit the text if you want everything is very customizable according to your needs so there is that and now i'm just going to show you how you can create this from scratch with my brand partnership so let's say that i'm going to add a sections right here so this new section is going to be sections for again to do list and here i'm just going to do follow up and for the last section I'm going to add agreement so with my brand partnership job i often time will need to try to find leads try to find more brands to work together with so let's say that i'm going to add a task here which is going to be approach not approach i'm just going to put the brand name for example it's going to be brand a and this one's going to be brand b so within each task you can then add more details so for example this one i am going to add details such as makeup brand And then maybe I want to add need meeting ASAP. And then I'm going to add a due date for this one. For example, it needs to be done by September 11th so that I got the due date edit. And then I'm just going to go ahead and put the comment right there. And you can see that I can see that there is a comment that I will need to read regarding about brand A. 
and let's say that the task that I need to do here is going to be meeting with brand A. Then again, I'm going to add the due date, which is 11th of September. And I'm just not going to add any comments to it. And you might see that there are some collaborators options right here. And that means that you can actually share this board with your friends. But because we're just going to focus on how to use it for ourselves in this tutorial, I'm not going to dig too deep into that, but I'm just going to let you know that you can actually share any of this board to your friends or maybe to your coworkers. All right, so there is that. And let's say that you want to mark this as complete. You have the options to tick right here. It's going to work just the same as if you're going to tick it on the left side of your task. So there is that. Basically, that is how it works. And let's say that you want to maybe add some document into your task details right here you can also click this attach file here and you can insert your file from a computer or maybe from your dropbox or google drive or any other place written over here so you can always add your important document over here and it's going to make it easier for you to remember where you put stuff most of the time i will just let my important document sit on the download folder and my desktop and i always have hard time finding out which one is which but with asana it just make everything easier i can just categorize it however i need it to be so there is that and i'm going to close this one and i use this list view as my default but if i go to the overview right here i'll be able to see everything in overview view and then if i go to board i can see my task in board view so it's going to work the same you can move this cards i like to call it cards you can move this card according to their workflow and it's just going to help you remember everything very very easily and I also like that we have this calendar options right here. If you click on it, you'll be able to see the date as well as the day. So fortunately, in my content creator job, I have to search for some KOL. I need to search for some influencer. So it's not just that I have to contact some influencer i also will need to follow them up whether they have birthday or if there are any other events going on in their life it's going to make it easier for me to take note on which one is having which event so you can see i can go to today which is this date now or i can go to the next week and i can also change the view into monthly calendar so let's say that i need to take note that on october 15 one of my influencer is having their birthday so i'm going to add maybe influencer a b day and it's going to give me a reminder on october 15 and let's say i want to have a comment like buy bouquet of flower or bouquet of roses because that influencer liked it i can just put it here and it's going to make it easier for me to remember small details like that now if i go to home i'll be able to see the overview of my project and if i have people invited into this board i'll be able to see my teammates right here if I go to my task, I'll be able to see all of the tasks that I will need to do. And if there are any tasks that I will need to do today, it's also going to show right here. So I'm going to try and create a task that are going to do today. So let's say it's going to be this one and maybe the one from my content creator. 
I'd say that it's also going to be today. And the one on my brand partnership, maybe this one can also be today. What's going to happen is that that specific task will have green in the due date section so that so that I will know that this task is due today. Meanwhile, if it's not due today, they will have like this grayish color. I like that little detail so that it's going to be very easy for my eyes to catch attention to. And again, that is going to be very, very helpful when it comes to helping me managing my project. One more thing that I see here is that they also have a section for goals. Now, let's say that for any of my job here, for example, the brand partnership one, I have some sort of goal that I need to achieve on a monthly basis. I can add it here. Let's say I want the goal title to be get three new brand and then I'm not going to add any member. And here I'm going to add the time for my goal to be achieved. So let's say it needs to be done by December 31, maybe not three, maybe I'm going to add eight new brand. And then I can just go ahead and click save goal. And I can check the status of my goal. For example, here, have I already add any progress to it? I can see in this chart right here. And then I can also connect my work to this goals right here. I can also add a sub goal if I need to. And I think this is also one of the good thing to remind me because usually I often forget about this kind of stuff. I tend to forget to keep track on what I was working on. So having goals set up here and being able to see the status of the goal that I want to achieve is really, really helpful for me. And that is basically it. That is how you can use Asana to help you manage your personal project or maybe your personal work. I hope this tutorial is helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.